What's going on guys? Shane here with one of the most decorated wrestlers in MMA, Bubba Jenkins. What's up, what's up, the bad man. So today we're gonna to be talking about entry for double leg takedowns, single leg takedowns, as well as stance. So this is more so the fundamentals for wrestling in MMA. Let's take a look. Now, the first thing we wanna understand about our distance and our stances and our entries and our, there is a little bit of a bubble, a, a bubble that we don't like to interrupt. This is my personal bubble and that's his personal bubble. The moment I step into his personal bubble, I want to be ready to have a conversation with him that I can control, if you guys understand what I'm saying. And if he doesn't want to have that conversation, he simply just leaves. His, his bubble has been interrupted. He didn't like the conversation. He exits the conversation. If he likes the conversation, we both enter into our personal bubbles and we have conversation. One of us starts dominating this conversation, whatever it is, and we either stay here or we leave. Now, the way we get into those bubbles are very important. First, our lead leg, most people don't know this, is my aim leg. A lot of people that are not in the wrestling community do not know that my lead leg is my aim leg and my trail leg, which is my back leg, which is also my trigger slash power leg, okay? This is how I get to where I'm going. Boom, all the power comes from this back leg. First leg is the aim leg, back leg is the power leg. A lot of times I want my aim leg, okay? If I'm wrestling, I want it to be certain direction. Whether I want, see if you give me a square stance, now, when we're thinking about wrestling, if I want this double leg, I want my leg in the middle. That's my aim. I'm aiming for both of his legs, so my leg is in the middle. If I want this high crotch, I aim towards the high crotch. If I want the single on the outside, oftentimes I aim towards it, okay? This is from the wrestling base. So, when I'm thinking straight, strictly wrestling, collegiate style wrestling, I'm going here for my single, here for my double, or here for my knee pulls, or my singles, or my sweeps on the outside, okay? If I'm fighting, it's very much dissimilar. My takedowns are gonna be the same. My entry into his bubble is gonna be very much the same. Aim leg, power leg, where I want to go is where I want to be putting my front leg. So if I'm going to be, give me a stance, sir. If I'm going to be a, a regular fight stance. If I'm going to be attacking this leg, I'm going to aim towards it, push off this back leg. I'm not going to lunge with my lead leg. This back leg is going to be able to push me through. I got to power through that calf. This is my little gas, my little gas power. Boop, boop. This is where it's pushing through. That's where my power is coming from. This. This really doesn't do anything but keep me balanced and keep me to the direction that I want to attack. So as soon as I come here, I can either push it down in the mat or already have it ready to explode. Boom, okay, attacking forward. That's going to be how I enter the bubble from a stance that is basic off of my aim and power leg towards the lead leg side. Now, let's talk about distance. A lot of people talk about the shot and the distance that it takes to clear and to get into these comfort levels, to get into these bubbles, okay? Some people say if you can't bend the arm or if you can't step inside of the little bubble that it's not a good or effective shot. I disagree. One, because I'm a black lead and I'm blackletic, so I choose to not put myself inside a category or a box. Mm. I would advise you not to do the same. Okay, now, depending on how much space I can cover with that power leg, if you ain't got no power in your power leg, probably shouldn't shoot, all right? If you ain't got no aim in your accuracy, probably shouldn't take the shot, you understand? If you don't got a big bomb with your bomb hand, you should probably choose something else to do, all right? Very same concept, okay? Now, when I talk about my power leg and how I can push to clear distance, one drill that I had like to do is what my partners is sometimes I get to a line and with my back leg I'll just hold it up and I'll push to the next block to the next line so I'll try to clear a massive distance with just this back leg I'll pick it up and see how much just from like a vertical jump kind of thing how much from this back leg can I power it forward and how much distance can I cover now I take that calculation and I use a little bit of a bounce so use a little bit of a running start the same way I would if I was just doing a simple vertical I'm gonna get let's say let's say 20 inches if I get a good running start and get a vertical I'll probably get another 23 24 inches the same way if I'm here if I just take a nice power stop power shot with my back leg into this bubble depending on what they say about your distance and how you cover it it depends on how much I can cover. So my power leg is going to give me a good 
two feet, boom. That's good off the regular, let's just shoot right here, boom. But once I get a good bounce going and I start setting some things up, I can almost get like a running start. I also reset my steps. That's also how I clear this distance. Now, the resetting of the steps is simply back leg is going to repower. Basically, the trigger leg I was talking about is going to cock, trigger, okay? Basically, it's cocking. Boop. Cock up, boom boom, however you however your gun sounds, <laughs> how whatever it sounds like, and that's what I'm doing. And this guy doesn't really notice it, okay? I'm moving my feet, I'm getting our bubbles safer, and I basically I just cock my gun and he hasn't even noticed it. Okay? Now I got to got my uh, my power legs now been cocked. My trigger has now been cocked. Everything is ready. Now where do I gotta go? I gotta show where I need to go with my aim leg. I cocked it. Where am I headed? Because the next thing I'm doing is exploding. Am I going this side across his body? Am I going double straight down the middle? Am I going single head on this side? This leg will tell me where I'm going. This leg is showing me how to get there. Depending on how much power you have in your power leg, that depends on how far you can take this shot from. Don't let them put you in a box. Some say you can't lunge. I say the most effective shot in MMA is a lunge shot. Find out what works for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you want to be a competitive mixed martial artist, you have to learn your wrestling. Bubba, why? Man, we can go on and on about the names that are in the sport of wrestling that also transfer, transformed over into mixed martial arts. And they're, I mean, from TJ Dillashaw, from the little guys to the Cain Velasquez. I mean, we can go on and on about wrestling and how important it is. I'm personally biased because I come from a wrestling background and my first fight, which I did win, I didn't have a fight before that. I didn't have an amateur fight before that. I didn't throw a punch before that. I walked right into the professional mixed martial arts scene, only knowing wrestling, and came out and rattled off a, a, a nice little win streak before someone figured it out that I didn't know it. That I didn't know <laughs> what I was doing. So I can say that wrestling will help you in the mixed martial arts professional system. There you go. There you have it. All right, guys. So uh, leave us some feedback down below. Bubba will be a reoccurring coach here on Fight Tips. If you'd like to see more, whatever topics you'd like to see, please comment down below. Until then, I'm Shane. I'm the bad man. Now he's the bad man. <laughs> Fight tips for the underdogs.